The SEM1200 is a dual output isolator providing two separate isolated current signals, 4 to 20 milliamps, from a primary loop. It is a passive device. It requires an external power supply in the output loop or loops. The input comes from a 4 to 20 milliamp signal from a two wire loop powered circuit. Here, if we just have a look at the SEM1200, down at the bottom here is the, these are the input terminals. So one input signal, and here we have our outputs for the two loops. Output one at the top, output two down here. To demonstrate, I have um, a control unit here. It's, this is um, a control unit that's often used with a, a Mowbray level transmitter. It gives an output signal of 4 to 20 milliamps. So I'm using that output signal in the back of the unit. There's my output, 4 to 20 milliamps. And taking it as the input here into the SEM1200. The two output loops go to a multimeter and to a digital indicator. With the control unit that's giving the 420 milliamp uh, signal to the SEM1200, there is a commissioning tool where I can set the current. So if I go into that um, and set, say, 12 milliamps, we should see the same on the two indicators. The multimeter and the indicator here, the indicator is programmed um, and configured for an input signal of 4 to 20 milliamps, and I've also programmed the, the range of the instrument as range low being 4 and range high being 20. So the two display units, the multimeter and the indicator, should display whatever current I um, output from this control unit. So if I go in here, we can see the current at the moment is 8 milliamps. And if we look at the multimeter, 7.991, almost 8 milliamps, and also on here, on the display unit over here, 8 milliamps. Let's just change that. As I said, he said, let's um, put in 12 milliamps, or 12 milliamps. Okay, so the display here, um, 12 milliamps, so I'm outputting 12 milliamps from the control box into the SEM1200 and the digital display on the indicator is just coming up to 12 and also on the multimeter you can see it's coming up to 12 11.988 at the moment let's look at the wiring diagram for the uh, SEM1200 this is the wiring diagram just for the output loops at the moment. As I said, it needs a, an external power supply to drive the output loops. So on the um, 12, SEM1200, um, minus from the uh, output terminal on out option 1, output 1 for example, goes to the plus on the multimeter. The minus from the multimeter is connected to the negative of the 24 volt DC supply and the plus of the 24 volt DC supply comes back to the plus on the uh, plus terminal on the output one on the SEM1200. Uh, similarly for output two. Let's just follow it through in one of the circuits. Here Let's have a look at output one. I've got 
the negative here connected through you can see from the black and white wire follow it through all the way up to the multimeter here to the plus the negative of the multimeter the white plain white wire comes back down here to the negative of the 24 volt supply and the positive of the 24 volt supply goes to the positive on output 1 positive to the plus of the 24 volt supply uh, here's my 24 volt supply so that's the uh, wiring diagram for the outputs if I now connect in the input signal from the um, my simulated control unit here the positive from the uh, control unit goes to the positive on the loop splitter and the negative from the control unit to the negative on the loop splitter and the terminals are down at the bottom. SCM1200 is a DIN rail mounted unit so I've just installed it on a piece of DIN rail. Um, so just to recap, input signal 4 to 20 milliamps into the SCM1200 that gives a, um, a 4 to 20 milliamp output signal, isolated output signal um, to two loops but those loops must be externally powered typically with a 24 volt power supply and here we can see one digital indicator and the value on the multimeter two output signals and it's the same value of the input signal that's being transmitted by this control unit.